सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू योर पीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म सो माई टूडे वीडियो इज रिलेटेड टू द कॉमन प्रिपेशन स्ट्रेटेजी फॉर थ्री पब्लिक सेक्टर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर विच द रिक्रूटमेंट इज आउट एंड ऑल दो थ्री रिक्रूटमेंट आर विदाउट गेट राइट सो मेनी क्वेरीज वर कमिंग फर्स्ट द वेरी फर्स्ट रिक्रूटमेंट विच केम दैट वॉज भारत इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लिमिटेड देन दिस बी एच ई एल केम देन दिस बी डी एल केम सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट that how you have to make the strategy what are the difference between the preparation strategies or about the syllabus not about the syllabus the exam pattern and other things i am going to discuss here and how your pd is going to cover this module please watch and listen this video very carefully and i am going to cover majority of your doubts which you are taking which you are having in your mind before you join this your pd module see earlier we launched this module for the bl preparation where the exam is very very simple exam very very straight exam one liner questions are there then bhl came then we merged this with the bl exam and we have told you that how this bl preparation is different from the bhl because in the bhl examination the numerical part is more third one then the bdl came now when the bdl came again the preparation strategy or the type of question which were being asked in the bdl it is more or less similar to the bl now where is the different in all preparations how you have to prepare further and how your pd is going to help you in this module we are going to provide you this information in this particular video although before this video we have already covered the preparation strategies the difference between bl and the bhl bl and the bdl uh, exam preparations and other things we have already covered that but this video is related to the comparative analysis for all the three uh, public sector see the three public sectors are bn BDL, BHEL. In the BL examination, you must be aware, you having this idea that the number of questions, the technical questions are hundred, are very very simple level questions, one liner straight questions are there for which we are covering the uh, uh, classes accordingly. Then the non-technical part, which is of twenty-five uh, uh, questions are there, and the total time which is provided for this hundred plus twenty-five uh, questions is hundred and twenty-five minutes. we have already provided you the detailed solution for the mechanical and electronics previous year paper of bel from there you get an idea okay uh, yes we have already done the preparation for the uh, let us suppose the gate examination and other examination then after going through these previous year questions you are having already an idea yes this preparation is having some requirement or something different which you have not covered in the gate or any other examination because the questions are very straight the questions are very one liner type of questions and the horizontal uh, preparation is required the depth knowledge is not required for the bl exam preparation now next next come to the bdl exam which recently came here the preparation the uh, exam pattern is 100 questions are technical 50 questions are not technical and again 120 minutes are provided now if you do the comparison between bl and bdl uh, uh, exam means the exam pattern 125 question 120 minutes and 150 questions and 120 minutes are there on the syllabus part where is the difference between the two examination that here in addition to this you have to also cover the that is the engineering maths which is not normally in the part of any public sector which are recruiting without gate right so engineering mathematics is being covered is being asked in this bdl examination either is this for the mechanical branch or either is this for the electronics branch so engineering mathematics you will be requiring so i would say that that whatever you are covering for the bl examination other than engineering mathematics you are fully prepared for this bdl examination in the bdl how many questions were asked from the engineering mathematics what type of question were asked in the engineering mathematics you are start getting the uh, this analysis of the previous year papers and the solution to the previous year papers of the bdl also you are going to get very soon from there you will get an idea but if you ask me sir how to 100 questions how many are the engineering mathematics questions roughly 15 question 12 to 15 question you are going to get from the engineering mathematics but mentors has already uh, specified that these are the important topics where from where these questions are being asked from each and every branch right we cannot say that that if these type of questions or these type of talk topics from engineering mathematics are covered in the mechanical then different is from the electronics different from the electrical it is not like that it is more or less taken from the similar type of topics but your pd is going to provide you the complete engineering mathematics module in this module only such that you can easily prepare for these two exam which is bl and the bdl examination 
right so this is the difference between b and e, b, uh, bdl and bl and how we are going to cover that that i already covered and the questions the type of questions especially if we talk about the technical part it is more or less of the similar lines again similar line one line questions trade questions are there which is similar for the both the examination now let us come to the bhel where the requirements are definitely yes from these examination is different here what is the exam pattern exam pattern is 120 questions are of the technical part and 120 questions are of the non-technical part now and the total time which is provided for these 240 questions is 115 minutes 150 means less than one minute time is provided for for which for which uh, for, for per question for this bhl examination now where is the difference first the number of questions obviously more time is very less in in, in this bhl examination and the analysis which have we have done for the bhl you must be have gone through the videos also of the previous papers and other things you will soon start getting the solutions for these examinations also previous papers also what we found that level of the question especially for the technical domain and also for the non-technical domain is a little bit on the higher side whatever branch you are mechanical electronics civil electrical whatever branch you are you will find here the numericals which you do not find over here maybe five two or five percent questions are there which are numerical in these examination but in the bhl the numerical portion is very high the number of uh, uh, questions in out of these 120 are roughly 60 to 70 questions means more than 50 percent questions are numerical and are of a very good level similarly for the non-technical part also that the question level of the questions is comparatively higher as compared to these two examination now you just think about this that okay that is okay the level is high again the calculator is not allowed then how anybody can cover these 240 questions in 115 minutes so this is totally reflected from the the cutoffs the last year cutoffs for which dr vijendra has already made the video for each and every branch what was the cutoff last year for this bhl examination which are which was very 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 low near to 55 percent is for the engineering uh, training this cutoff was I mean near to 55 percent means out of these 240 questions only 55 percent was the cutoff that is the cutoff that means that was the maximum not uh, highest right so 55 percent was near to cut off it means ki you will not be able to firstly solve all the questions secondly you have to reject all those questions which are basically uh, having uh, which is basically wasting your time wherever there you are finding that okay here the calculations will be more it will take more time you can leave that out of these 240 questions roughly 40 to 50 questions you can leave straight away where nothing will happen your time wastage will be done so this you have to basically prepare and when you will be in the examination center you have to wisely choose that which a question you have to attempt which question you do not attempt that can only be uh, guessed or which you can only be attempted once you have in the lot of practice will be there then only you will come to know now let us discuss about that how your PD is going to practice the thing how your PD is going to prepare the things see this BL examination they have tentatively told you that is going to be happen in the month of March BL examination they have clearly told you this is going to happen on 11 12th or 13th of April and about the BDL they have not mentioned any date and it is going to be as per their previous record it is going to be happen near to April and May now bl is already being prepared in the month of march only engineering mathematics you have to cover separately for bdl it means you have sufficient time to prepare for engineering mathematics after the bl examination that is okay but the problem is lying for the bhl examination so what what your pd is going to do this is 11 12th uh, 11 12th and 13th of april this is in march we are expecting it need to be 15 to 20th of uh, march and roughly you will be having a window of 15 to 20 days where we are going to cover the numerical portion which is dedicatedly uh, for the required for this bhl examination only the numerical part but the concept the theoretical questions which are also being asked in the bhl examination that you are going to cover in this particular preparation for bl and the bdl only so the higher level of question no need to basically put your hand into that because that is going to be basically wasting your time only that's it so this is how you should make the strategy this is how you should prepare because 
on first or second first and second of uh, february you are having the examination especially for mechanical and then in the third weekend of this uh, uh, february you are having the exam for the civil branch and the, for the electronics branch you are having the exam so after that obviously uh, although so many students have already joined and started preparation for that you can also join your pedia for this combined module of this bel bdl and bhel for mechanical for electronics electrical we are going to so, uh, launch very soon and for the civil also so you can fill the google form if you have gone through if you have uh, done with this strategy that's how your pd is going to uh, prepare you for all these three examination and how you should prepare for these examination three examination parallelly and definitely yes the, the preparation for these examination is also going to help for the your future exams also like last year hcl didn't came hindustan aeronautical limited didn't came hpcl comes every year hpcl will again come this year also so this preparation is also going to help you for the other examination the future examination which will come in this uh, upcoming uh, year so very soon it will definitely come because in 2025 you can expect more and more public sector coming without gate and having a huge number of requirement right reason behind because in 2024 very less number of uh candidates were recruited due to the election and other reason very less number of recruitment was done for the from the various psu but it is expected in 2025 airport authority also going to come in this uh, 2025 also so so many things are going to happen in this 2025 but you have to what you have to do you have to prepare yourself in time with the best preparation with best mentors of india which is your pdi which is going to provide you the tailor made module preparation for all these public sector exams without gate right so if you still you are having any query you can contact us you can reach out to us by filling the google form or you can call us directly thank you and all the best